Hey guys, welcome back to No Catchy Name. It's me, Ella. Today is, what is today? I don't know. It's it's the weekend. <laughs> and this is episode number 166. So I do actually have, again, a quite a few finished objects, but a lot of them are all small. <laughs> but they still count as finished objects. So technically I have 2, 4, 6, 8, 10 finished objects this week. <laughs> and two active lips. So I'm going to go ahead and hop into it and uh, show you guys what I did this past week-ish and in the crochet world. <laughs> so I have my notes here. Let me grab all. Alright, let's try to go in order here. My first finished object is the Easter egg that I started uh, on the 16th, <laughs> whenever that was. Last week sometime? I can't remember. But this was for my, um, I think it was Stitcher Library. It was either Stitcher Library or it was more to work on Wednesday. I can't remember now. <laughs> I started it last week for something. And uh, also I wanted to use it as decoration around my house for Easter, which is coming up. It's in like two months, a little over two months. Um, this year is on April 17th. But uh, this is a paper pattern by Michelle Strada, which is Pixie Marie Crate. She has a YouTube channel, an Etsy shop, and a Ravelry store. So I'll share all those links down below if you want to check them out. But here's my egg, finished. Isn't it cute? It turned out so cute, I think. I love it. I kind of want to make another one. I need to make it with the same colors but in different order. I think that'd be cute. But there's my egg. I kind of messed up this part. Uh, like right here, I think it is. Uh, my stitch count was off, and instead of fixing it, I just winged it and just went on with the laugh. That'll be the back of the egg. Dear June, she's crying. <laughs> Devin's got her though. She's good. But uh, yeah, so this is called Decorated Egg by Pixie Marie Crates, which is M Michelle Estrada. I'll link it below. I used all Red Heart Super Saver scraps. Uh, I know this is pale yellow. This is light blue. This is minty or something like that. And I always forget the pink because there's a few pinks and I always forget their names. <laughs> I can't remember if this is perfect pink or uh, petal pink maybe. It's one of those. <laughs> but yeah, I think, it, I think it's adorable. And it's done. So I'll be putting that in my living room somewhere once Easter time. Well, actually, after St. Patrick's Day, I will put up my Easter decorations and uh, this will be in them. <laughs> this is a really cool pattern. I love the way she, it's all together so there's no ends to weave in except your starting and finishing end because on the inside you can just tie off knots and no one will ever know. <laughs> so it looks nice and pretty and you don't have to worry about weaving in like a drilling ends which I love. But that's my first finished object. My next finished object. Okay that was a, a, a whip Wednesday because these were my Stitcher Library number fives. These are if you watch all my other videos, you would have seen all these things already. <laughs> but this is just my, like, roundup. So, uh, these are called the Itty Bitty Bunny Bags by Sarah Satch. It is a free pattern. She has it written on her website. And she also has a video tutorial on YouTube. I'll try to remember to link both of those below. So, I did make two. One for uh, my son, Jesse, and one for my nephew, Ben. For Easter, I'm going to put some little something. I don't know if I put candy or little toys, maybe, down here. And some money. So, they both get, like, a prize egg. Uh, so it's just the two of them. <laughs> but anyways, so here's the first one. I made it with the, the yellow and pink. It's with the same yarn from the egg because I had it in my uh, little cart. Fuzz just went by my face. <laughs> so there it is. A little drawstring so it opens. They do have ears on them in the pattern, but I just didn't do that because I wanted it to just be an egg. Didn't need to have bunny ears. And there's another one. So I think they're cute. I, it starts with a chain like five and you make a, a loop out of that. I, I did it anyways. I was just following a pattern. But next time, like a future reference, I will use a magic loop or whatever. <laughs> magic circle, magic chain, whatever you call it. Uh, so that that hole's not there. But uh, I hate that starting hole. I don't know why I did that. I did it to both of them. I should have just did it the way I always do. <laughs> but uh, either way, it doesn't matter. Because the stuff that's going to go in here will be big enough to not fall out of it. But, uh, so there's those two cute little bags. I used an H hook and Red Heart Super Saver scraps with it. With them both. <laughs> so, that's Easter stuff. Now, this next things are technically Easter things, but they're not Easter themed. And like I said, if you watch my other videos, you would have already seen all these. But I'm going to show them to you anyways. These are all seven free patterns by Olive at stringingding.com. I will link them all below. You can also purchase their PDFs. Uh, if you want the PDF version to like print out and keep it in a binder or something. But uh, yeah, so we'll go through all of them. <laughs> They're all made with scrap yarns and I'm not sure exactly what they all are. Uh, yeah, so I was just pulling out of my scrap container. 
and they're all made with an F hook, which is a 3.75, I believe. The H hook that I just mentioned is a 5 millimeter. Because uh, someone mentioned recently that they don't know how to convert it. Because they're in Canada, I believe. And uh, go figure, the U.S. has to use the stupid, like, their own version. <laughs> Instead of just using, like, metric like everybody else in the world. But, <laughs> anyways. Uh, uh, so, H is a 5 millimeter, And the F, I'm pretty sure, is a 3.75. I use it all the time. But I always go by the letters because I'm in America. And we do that stupid system. <laughs> but, uh, I need to try to get uh, remember to say both for the people who are in other countries. Anyways. So they're all with the same thing and also the safety eyes are from Amazon. I'll link that below too if you're interested. But so I made her spider, her scrappy spider. This is a mandala uh, ombre scrap. And so there's a little spider. These are all no sew. So I wanted to make them for that video and I'm giving them to my son and my nephew for Easter. But there's a spider. And then there is a crown. <laughs> Which someone mentioned that uh, the way I say it must be a Midwest thing, but I'm not in the Midwest. I'm in South. <laughs> I'm in Middle Tennessee. <laughs> but, uh, everyone right here calls these crowns. And I know we say it kind of like, you know, like a crown. Like you put on your head. <laughs> but, uh, I know some people call them crayons. <laughs> that's weird to me. I know that's how it's spelled, but... And some people just call them Crayolas, which is weird because that's a brand. <laughs> but, uh, you know, and there's also, like, the cheap, crazier ones and, like, all, you know, other brands. But, uh, we call them crowns, like the things you wear on your head. <laughs> Everyone I know calls them that. But I have heard people say cray crayons. <laughs> crayons, and it, to me that's just so weird. <laughs> but I guess that's more appropriate because it's how it's spelled. And we just call them crowns. But I'm from the South, so we say everything weird. <laughs> but anyways, I love the crown. And I made a pink one because I love pink. And someone mentioned also because there's an odd number. And I was like, oh, I need to make another one. But then they're like, you should keep the pink crown because you love pink. And I was like, that's a good idea. So this crown's mine. <laughs> So now the boys will each get three. But the little crown and the little safety eyes. It's so cute. And then there's a little candy. Ooh. This is this is also my Dollar Opry. This is the one that's pink and orange, but I don't know what it's called. <laughs> and again, these are all doso. If you look at there, there's a little bit of pink and the rest of it's orange. <laughs> but uh they're all no so patterns, so that's also. Awesome. And there's the mouse. <laughs> this mouse is so cute. This is a scrap of Isle of the Shard Grey. I think it was called Greybeard or something like that. But it's so cute. I've made these before. And then there's the cat, which is also Mandela Ombre. <laughs> uh, I made one of these before. So this is the second one. And then there's the dog, which is a Red Heart Super Saver scrap. Someone said it was Aaron Fleck. But it's so cute, little doggy. And it's got stitched on nose. The the cat and the dog have just little pink noses. And then my favorite animal, the pig. My favorite animal out of these ones. Not my favorite animal ever. <laughs> but it's a cute little pig. It is made of the pink yarn that the egg is made out of. That is so cute. They're all nose out. Like I said, the ears and the feet are uh, stitches. And then the tail is like a chain that you chain out and work back through. So it's not safe. So you have to sew anything together. That's all my finished objects, which, like I said, if you watch my other videos, you would have already seen all those. But uh, my episodes is where I just kind of condense everything that I've done so that you guys can see it. But anyways, so that is all my finished objects. So I do have two whips. One is my shrug, which I have worked on since uh, you guys last seen it. But I have worked on it a ton, uh, mostly because I was making all those anniversaries and because I'm real busy with the baby. <laughs> but it is bigger. I think I was on roll 34. Yeah, I was on this room right here where this pizza is. Ten twenty. Let's see here. Ten. There you go. Ten twenty. Thirty. One, two, three, four. I think I was on twenty. Twenty. Thirty-four. <laughs> I think so. I'm marking them in rows by ten with these little stitch markers. So it's ten, twenty, thirty. Four, and there's the pizza so I did work that many more rows and so the rows are pretty wide oops what just fell off I hooked it <laughs> oh I can't I'm not in a good position to show it to you it's just a big rectangle right now and all it is is double crochet skip one chain one double crochet all the way across <laughs> the yarn I'm using is Red Heart Super Saver Zebra there's already one whole skein in it and the second skein is almost in it that's how much is in it but this pattern is called, uh, let me get my notes. 
The Stonewall Shrug by Make It Do Crew. It is a free pattern. I am using a J hook, which is a six millimeter. Nope, I lied. It's an I hook, which is a 5.5 millimeter. <laughs> and uh, the yarn is the yarn I'm currently using for it is Red Heart Super Saver Zebra, but I will also be using Red Heart Super Saver Glow Worm for the like color and cuffs and stuff. Uh, I started this way back in the beginning of February. I'm still not done with it, but it's just because I'm, I'm busy with baby. And also, uh, when I do crochet, I only have like spurts of crochet top, so I work on little things. But I did get some rolls done, so I'm glad for that. Let's see, where's my stitch markers go? So I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and a little bit of one done. I like the way it's pulling so far, kind of zigzaggy. This is going to be a Beetlejuice themed shrug for me so that's why it's black and white and then eventually bright green <laughs> will be added to it i'm looking forward to having it done uh i know it's not everybody's colorways so i actually like mentioned that and at first i was like that's a rude comment but then i was like you know it doesn't really matter because some people like some colors and some people don't but uh i happen to love black and white <laughs> and bright green and i love anything tim burton and i'm looking for super forward to having this to wear but so i'm working on that slowly i was hoping to get it done in february but i don't know i only got like three or four more days <laughs> before March. So, uh, I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> but that's okay if it carries over. It's not the end of the world. So that's my shrug. The hook with it. And then my last whip is something I started for my sister. She found it on Pinterest and sent it to me and asked me if I could make it for her. And it is a tissue box cover for these square shaped tissue boxes. I don't I have one with me. Uh, and it looks like a cake. She's crying again. <laughs> she, uh, but... I am, the picture I'll pop it up of the finished one is a chocolate or like a vanilla cake with chocolate icing. She wants it rainbow, uh, like this next one, I'll pop it up too, if I can remember to do that. Uh, so I did get the white part done. So on Wednesday I had this top piece done and then I did get the two sides of the cake done that is frosted. And then these other two sides will be the rainbow sides, like the cake layers where you cut it, you know, and then uh, I will go back after that part's done and put on the uh like the piping on there that looks like scallop piping i think it's on the top and the bottom of the white side and then my sister is gonna add the sprinkles herself she has bees i guess on hand she said that she'd do that so uh that's how much i got done <laughs> and then i'm using an h hook which is five uh millimeter and just worst weight yarn this is red heart white and uh i got other red heart yarns pulled out to be the rainbow colors uh but I haven't started that yet. I just finished this part the other day. You have to leave a long tail for sewing. And then I just got to start doing the colors and then the piping. And it'll be done. So I'm looking forward to finishing that up. Uh, hopefully I can get that done soon. <laughs> but, uh, and also hopefully I remember to paint a picture so you can see what it looks like. This is a free pattern on the website Tissue Box Bakery. They also have paid for patterns too of a bunch of different cakes if you want to check them out. And it'll all be linked below. Uh, I already said what I was using. Yeah. So, yeah. So, that's my only two whips right now. And, uh, I don't know what else I want to start. I need to find another Stitch My Library pattern. I have a few on my desktop that I have separated that I want to make soon. I just don't know if I actually want to, like, make them, you know. <laughs> uh, I, I really like making these little things. Because it lets me finish something in between doing, you know, uh, house stuff or mob stuff. Uh. I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> but maybe in the next video, I will be talking about it. Uh, on the next Watch Your Work on Wednesday video, maybe I'll have a new whip. <laughs> uh, and then hopefully a Stitch Your Library video soon. But I'm going to go ahead and hop off here. And I will see you guys in another video. Because i got to clean this stuff up and go see if Devin needs some help. Because <laughs> I've heard Jude cry twice now. So he might need some help. <laughs> but I'm going to hop off and I'll see you guys in another video. Bye guys.